Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is AJ and welcome to my travel log. Join me as I make memories and explore the most beautiful and amazing destinations in the world. Straight from Halong Bay, we went to the city of Hoi An to go to Da Nang. But before we went to the airport, we made a short stop to the city to try the famous Vietnamese egg coffee which is suggested by Joy. We are supposed to find the well-known coffee shop in Hoi An that serves this egg coffee plus with an Instagrammable view. Sad to say, no Wi-Fi connection so we ended up to this small coffee shop. And we are lucky we met this pretty auntie. We were browsing some puzzle-looking stuff at her shop and to my surprise, she was out of the store to buy her lunch. So after we bought the items, she was so generous enough to accompany us. Egg coffee is a Vietnamese drink traditionally prepared with egg yolks, sugar, condensed milk, and coffee. Impera, I am not buy it. Oh, 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 oh. For the blog. For the support of our foundation. Kasha ba? Kulang, kulang ata ay. Kulang. Kulang. This was our funny experience when I was paying for our order. The coffee cost 40,000 dong and the paper bill is a bit confusing since there are a lot of zeros. We gave 4,000 Vietnamese dong thinking it was 40,000. I guess just look at the expression of the crew when I gave him the money. That was really embarrassing but it was just an honest mistake though. The taste of egg coffee was not bad at all. The sweetness of the milk is just enough to complement the coffee. And I remember when I was a kid, my mother used to put raw egg on my Milo drink. And it's really healthy though, that's protein. But this one is unique since you put coffee on it. Time to go to the airport. We arrived at Da Nang at 9.30 p.m. and the following day, we went to our next destination, which is the Banna Hills and the French Village. We woke up early as 3 a.m. so we can avoid the crowd, which was also suggested from the blogs that I have read. Banna Hills is more or less a three or four hour drive from the city proper. We were just right on time and there were few guests arrived, so good job to us. And we book our ticket as usual through Kluk, so Kluk Bakanaman. You enter the place, you will notice the European design and structures. The mirrors at the ceiling is perfect. At this moment, we are on our way to uh, the cable car, which is the only mean to go to the French village and to the Golden Bridge. We're here now in Banna Hills.
Chao. And finally, our cable car experience going to the Golden Bridge, which is approximately 4,900 feet, of course, thanks to Google. The ride going to Golden Bridge was really fun because of lace. Every time the cable car is near a tower and it suddenly would jump, I can see excitement on her voice. <laughs> there are three lines of cable car, so definitely walang traffic char. The largest ride you could take is about 20 minutes. But it was never a boring ride because of the mountain views. Plus, may paalog din ganap. And good luck if you're afraid of heights. We are roughly uh, 1,500 meters above sea level. Again, thanks to Google. We're almost there. I was so excited what view will I see if it's foggy or not since downhill the weather was just fine. This is it. The Golden Bridge of Banna Hills. I felt like I was a dwarf walking or standing in a palm of a giant. Plus, the foggy effect looks like I was in a fantasy movie scene. It's really amazing. January is not the best month to visit uh, Banna Hills since it's a cold season. And it's on top of the mountain, so you'll definitely will expect fogs on your pictures. Best month to visit would be during dry season, which is from March to September. January is not bad at all, although it was super cold, yet you could still take a good pictures for the ground. I may not have seen the best view of Danang City from the Golden Bridge, but the feeling of being there was an accomplishment in my back of the It's almost 12 and our stomach were crying out loud for some foods, but we can't help but to say wow to this structural design of the French village where it looks like from a medieval era. The foggy effect on this place really reminds me of a suspense or somewhat like a magical western movie.
guys were enjoying the view, we were looking for a place to eat. And yes, it is super cold. The French Village offers varieties of restaurants of all types and price levels, so you will never get out of any options from French, Japanese, American, Vietnamese. You name it, you have it. Wala nga lang, Pinoy. Just kidding. We had our lunch at the buffet restaurant for only 350,000 Vietnamese dong or 800 pesos. With that kind of price, it was really worth it since it has many cuisines of different countries. And of course, I love the dessert. Back to business now that we were recharged. Time to explore more of Instagrammable spots. So let's go! French Village is a living proof from the 19th century and was built in European architectural style. The design is taken of course from a French architecture and more of a Gothic style visibly in the 19th century. Presenting the Marites, live in French, Char. <laughs> hmm, so, ano, o oh, sino kaya ang topic nila? Ah, uh, okay, so, ako pala yung topic nila, Char. As you explore the place, there are a lot of Instagrammable spots in Digit. And if you love taking pictures like me, you'll never get tired of taking photos. I guess the only thing that will surrender is your phone memory. So you gotta be ready. I really love this part of the village because of these headpots for plants. Like it gives me an idea, probably in the future I'll have one of these in the house, if I'll become a millionaire though. It is super amazing idea, like ang mayama.
were not able to give something a going over to the park since it's a day before New Year and the driver asked us if we could be early to avoid traffic and he can prepare for the celebration as well. Anyway, our main purpose was just to have a walk in the Golden Bridge and I guess a quick tour on the French village. So for now, I guess this is a wrap, guys, and I'll end this vlog for now. See you on my next travel adventure and still in Vietnam. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell to never miss new videos.